Hot diggity dog, this is one of those days where movie news is flowing through you like some hot Taco Bell. So let's dump all it out. Yeah, good transition, Chris. Good transition. Some of the things we're going to be discussing here today, guys, is yesterday Disney had a shareholders meeting where they just let out a whole bunch of announcements. It's looking like it's 100% official on who is playing Reed Richards and nobody seems to care. Really, that alone so much more. So you guys know the drill. Leave your opinions down below with everything we discuss here today. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And well, just to plug a couple of things real quick, if you haven't checked out the Clips channel, that's where I talk about like the Daredevil suit leaks along with other random movie topics. Then we recently had two trailers, The Quiet Place Day 1 and the Knuckles TV series busted out trailer breakdowns for those so check them out if you haven't already on the main channel and well speaking about trailers we got a couple that hit the web today for one we got a 30 second spot for Inside Out 2 that really doesn't give us that much more than what the previous announcement did it's just kind of showing a day in the life of Riley with all the motions in action here but it looks like this will be the 30 second spot released at the Super Bowl and yeah I've already seen a lot of people start to complain going why are they releasing all the Super Bowl trailers early what the heck this has just become common the past couple of years where super bowl trailers get released early i'm assuming it's just because so many trailers come out that day not each trailer gets their time to shine so now it's just common practice to release either a bigger trailer or that small trailer ahead of time like they do sometimes with super bowl commercials is it really a super bowl commercial if that commercial came out before the super bowl so honestly be ready for the next few days until the super bowl for a couple more trailers and tv spots to drop giving you an idea of what you'll see but it'll all probably be stuff before deadpool 3 and well that will now now bring us into these huge Disney announcements that came out yesterday. So like I was saying, Disney had their Q1 meeting with their shareholders. And usually these meetings aren't like big announcements or fan events where they're supposed to get you riled up for what's coming. These are more meant for their stockholders to get their share prices up, get them happy and excited that the company's doing something right for once. Let's start off with one of the biggest things that was kind of a surprise for me was the announcement of Moana 2. Now it wasn't just the announcement that Moana 2 was happening. We got a teaser trailer release. It's just 17 seconds of Moana on the beach, looking a little older than she did the previous installment, revealing the title card and letting you know this movie's being released this year in November. That had to shock everybody. Nobody knew an animated Moana sequel was coming out this year. But the details about this movie are so interesting because this was actually supposed to be a Disney Plus series. Let me show you the first look image while I read to you the plot of the movie. Part two will take audiences on an expansive new voyage with Moana, Maui, and a brand new crew of unlikely seafarers. After receiving an unexpected call from her wayfinding ancestors, Moana must journey to the far seas of Oceania and into dangerous dangerous long lost waters for an adventure unlike anything she's ever faced. And so yeah, that's kind of odd that they were maybe one, two, three episodes into this show and they were like, mm let's make it a movie instead and repurposed it into a film that they can release this year. I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign for this movie. Was the show looking to be so good that they were like, hey, let's make this a movie instead? Or what other people are theorizing, Disney Plus and their streaming content just isn't performing well, that Disney needs to get back to just releasing big hits in theaters. But the other other weird aspect of this announcement is we're still set to get live action Moana come next year. Don't forget that was announced. The Rock came out on the beach and said, yeah, live action Moana, I'm playing Maui, this is happening. So we're getting the animated sequel this year, then next year a remake to the first movie. What kind of sh chillfoolery is this? I can't even come up with a word for this. I knew Disney pulled some stuff in the day, but this... This is odd. So really, it left me just like puzzled and at a loss for words. Coming down to it, I'm more excited for the animated sequel than I am the live action remake. Because if I just want to see Moana 1, I will watch Moana 1, which I thought was great and is the reason I'm looking forward to the second movie. But I am hesitant with the fact that it was originally a TV show now being made into a full-fledged movie. We'll see how that turns out, but uh, okay, that was announcement one. Then Disney busted out this like out of nowhere collaboration with Epic Games and Fortnite. And this is also a pretty giant massive deal. If you want me to go more in depth with it, I did make a video on the Clips channel, but just the rough summary of this is that Disney has invested equity of $1.5 billion into Fortnite and Epic Games, where they now own a minority stake, I think like 10%, but still Disney now owns a portion of Fortnite, and they're going to be collaborating together to create a whole new gaming and fan viewing experience 
experience. And this isn't like your typical Fortnite collab where they'll just include skins of like Mickey Mouse and Goofy in the game. No, they're creating like a whole new experience for users to get into. It'll be a place where you can play, watch content, shop, and even create your own content. They give you a sneak peek of this map, but honestly, like I just have no idea what they mean. It sounds almost like Disney's version of Ready Player One. I'm definitely fascinated and interested by it, but I'm like, okay, they are serious about it. They spent $1.5 billion. So I'm going to keep an eye on this and see what develops with it in the future. Then they revealed like the Taylor Swift concert movie is going to Disney Plus, which to me just strengthens the rumors that Taylor Swift is showing up in Deadpool 3 or else how did this partnership come to be? Percy Jackson got renewed for season two. That is awesome. But then it came down to releases to some of their big animated movies. And this is where I was like, okay, let's see what you got. We know this year we're going to get Inside Out 2 and Moana 2 now. But then in the year 2025, that's when you'll be getting Zootopia 2. And, you know, I'm actually looking forward to that. I think Zootopia 1 is really enjoyable and I'd love to see more of this animal humanistic world. And then confirming Frozen 3 and Toy Story 5 for 2026. So insane that Toy Story 5 is happening, but it feels like it needs to, right? Toy Story 4 left so many people divided on that ending for our friends and heroes. Toy Story 5 needs to come in not only to kind of wrap up the franchise in a nice way, but bring back some of the people that left Toy Story 4 with a sour taste in their mouth. Another interesting thing that was said during the sharehold meeting by Bob Iger, the CEO, he says, Bob Iger says output of content is being reduced at Marvel Studios with a focus on some of its stronger franchises. That is some pretty strong words. Now, I contend we have heard a similar statement like this two or three times the past year, where they keep saying we're going to reduce content, quality over quantity. But now this statement here about they're going to focus on their stronger franchises... Uh, I think the days of introducing a brand new random hero, giving them a Disney Plus show, or taking a risk with a movie are kind of over. I'm curious to hear from you guys what you think these strong franchises are in the MCU that they're going to be focusing on. But hey, if they reduce the Disney Plus content, I feel like that would make me happy. And then Disney did go on then to confirm that the new Alien movie is officially titled Alien Romulus. I know that's what we've been calling it now for months, but now Disney has officially confirmed, yes, that is the title of the movie, and there was some doubt that maybe they would go with a different title but alien romulus works for me i do really dig that title now give me a poster or a trailer or something for that movie please then that brings me in to talk about this official announcement for the fantastic four and i say official lightly but it's like this is as official as it gets without Disney just saying it upright. So for about a couple of weeks now, we have just heard it's Pedro Pascal who's going to end up playing Reed Richards in the Fantastic Four. Some people like the idea, some people don't. Well, just the other day, sag After, which is the union for Hollywood actors, put out a bio for Pedro Pascal and what he's doing in Hollywood. And in that bio, it said that he will be busy filming Fantastic Four. And as a union whose job it is to be in the know of their members, that was them confirming it. But if that wasn't enough, then we had Matt Shockman, who is the director of the Fantastic Four and also did WandaVision. He posted on his Instagram story that sag After confirms Pedro Pascal will play Reed Richards in the Fantastic Four. As the director of the Fantastic Four, he already knows who those members are. And since he saw the official Hollywood union spreading it out, he's like, oh, it must be official. Let me post it out for everyone else to see. Making it now without a doubt in our minds. Pedro Pascal is Reed Richards, and I feel like nobody cares. Maybe it's because this insane buildup to what is going to be happening with the Fantastic Four, who are going to be the cast members, the dozens of actors we've talked about for months, feels like years, honestly, saying this person's Reed Richards, no, this person's it, no, this person. Now when we finally have the person and we have the director himself confirming it, it's not breaking the internet. No one is really talking about it. You have your occasional posts here and there, but it feels almost like a disappointing way to announce it and make it real. Maybe the impact will hit harder when we have the full four members announced, but it's just so funny to see that, like, it's it, this is it. Pedro Pascal's Reed Richards. And the internet sounds pretty quiet right now. But anyways, that's just the movie news we currently have going on right now, guys. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch me talk some movie news. Don't be forgetting to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.